Welcome back to another tutorial of Python and in this tutorial we are going to learn about documentation strings or doc strings. So doc strings actually help us to understand what our function or if we are having any class so what our class does. So basically it's a kind of way where you describe your function or class. So to declare the documentation you have to all you have to do is you have over here I have taken a function here which is calculate sum and with the calculate sum you will first give three double quote and after that also given a space and three double quote and I will describe now what our function does here or the calculate sum function does here so I'll say that okay so you might ask why do we do this in this way we can actually simply do this by describing something like this this will calculate blah 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 or something okay so we can actually do this way but the thing is that we want some control over this documentation string we want to print it out wherever we want inside the program so for doing this we skip this and we actually the documentation has been evolved so right now if we delete this this is a single line documentation string which is just actually describing the function and we can actually print this documentation string to print this out we will call the print function and we will say calculate sum and we will say double underscore doc double underscore that's it and if you run our program now you will see that it's printing out that this will calculate the sum of numbers literally the documentation of the function it it goes same with the class but we can do actually the multiple line documentation as well like having more information about the function to do this we can actually uh, you can actually start anywhere so I will say this function at a specific number of so this is the kind of like a more description over here of this function what it does and if we run down run it you can see that uh, the text are being printed out but over here you must know that this is a good practice that you always keep a blank line after the first line so that you can you can actually understand that this is the title and this is the description so this is the best practice you can actually do the documentation string with single quote as well giving three quotes single quote and if you run now you can see that the same result so this is how actually the documentation string work if you don't understand comment in the comment section subscribe thumbs up see you into the next tutorial